Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at nuclear fission. So let's get started. So we're going to start with the definition of nuclear fission and then look at the two types. So nuclear fission is the process in which an unstable heavy atomic nucleus splits into two or more lighter nuclei, often called fission fragments, with energy being released. Now I've put the word energy in bold because it's the energy from nuclear fission reactions that is really important. Remember it's that energy from the reactions in nuclear reactors that are going to heat up water to produce steam and so on and create electricity. So without the release of energy in a nuclear fission reaction, it wouldn't be worth using nuclear fission for nuclear reactors. So the two types of fission are called spontaneous fission and induced fission. So if something's spontaneous, it doesn't follow a pattern, it's a bit random. So spontaneous fission is when the nucleus will randomly decay. Whereas induced fission, if you induce something to happen, then you cause it to happen. So induced fission is when a neutron is fired at the nucleus, causing it to split. So one is random and one is caused to happen. So just to help you visualize an induced fission reaction, I'm going to show you a quick animation. So here we have a nucleus and a neutron down in the corner. So you'll see if I click play here, an instant neutron comes and hits the nucleus, causing it to split apart into fission fragments. And if I play that again, you'll notice that we also have more neutrons being released. And that is going to be very important for what we talk about in a moment to do with chain reactions. So looking back at the notes now, you'll see a more static representation of that as a picture. So we've got an instant neutron coming in and hitting a target nucleus, often uranium, and that's going to cause the larger, heavier nucleus to split into two fission products or fission fragments, plus some neutrons and energy. So in this example, we've got three neutrons released. If you're explaining how nuclear fission works, make sure you don't fall into the trap of calling this an electron or a proton. It's definitely a neutron that is fired at a nucleus, not a proton or electron. So make sure you don't get mixed up with those. Consider an example now that if a neutron is fired at a uranium-235 nucleus, it splits into an atom of rubidium, an atom of cesium, three neutrons and some energy. Remember, it's always going to release energy as part of the reaction. The released neutrons can go on to hit other uranium nuclei, causing further fission reactions and the cycle repeats. This is called a chain reaction. So when you think about a chain reaction, you can think about dominoes, the little rectangular pieces that are all lined up next to one another. When one reaction is triggered, i.e. you touch one of the dominoes, that's going to then hit into all the other dominoes, causing them all to fall in a sequence or in a chain reaction. And in the same way, one nuclear fission reaction can trigger other nuclear fission reactions. So just to help you visualize this a bit more, I'm going to show you another animation. So imagine we've got our instant neutron here, and that's going to be fired at our first nucleus, our target nucleus here. Then what we might expect to happen is that the neutrons from that nuclear fission reaction that are released can go on to hit other nuclei, causing more nuclear fission reactions to occur. And that's going to keep repeating. So if I click play here, hopefully you get the idea, but I'll just show you that again. So the neutrons released from here go on to hit these ones, which in turn go on to hit the other nuclei. And in this way, because every reaction that's going on there is going to be releasing energy, this is what we use in a nuclear fission reactor to generate electricity, but we do it in a controlled way so that we can control how many reactions are going to take place. Remember we talked about the moderator and the control rods as part of the nuclear reactor, which can help to control the reactions, and that would be our use of a controlled chain reaction. If, however, the chain reaction is not controlled and it's going to go on and release large amounts of energy very quickly, then this is what is called a nuclear bomb or a nuclear weapon. Going back to the notes now, you'll see the picture of a chain reaction. So you've got your instant neutron, which triggers one fission reaction. And then this fission reaction, you'll get some fission fragments, but some neutrons released as well, which can go on and hit other nuclei, which in turn produce their own fission fragments, as well as some neutrons. And then they would go on and hit other uranium nuclei. And the cycle repeats. So if you're asked in a question to explain what is meant by a chain reaction, you need to describe how nuclear fission works itself first and the fact that an instant neutron is going to cause it and then more neutrons are going to be released in the process and then they go on and hit other nuclei. So make sure you're not being too vague by saying that something will cause something else to happen because you need to be specific and mention neutrons and the reactions that are happening. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.